Hello, Jason Niemeyer here again with you with another Photoshop tutorial. What we're going to talk about today is the Action tab. That kind of hangs out over here by the Histories tab in the History dialog box. Most of us don't really pay much attention to it. But I've been learning a lot about it and I'm going to tell you something. I love it. And after today, you're going to as well. Basically what it is, is a recording device in essence. It records, well, actions. What are actions? Actions are the things that we do to our images, such as free transform, cut and paste, filter effects, just about everything we do in Photoshop to our images is an action. And as we know, actions can be quite a lengthy process, it can take up to 20, 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour on one particular image to achieve a desired effect. And that can be a rather, you know, laborious and, and time consuming process to do to several images. So we can record all of those steps in an actions folder and introduce another image. And with the touch of one button, we can apply all those actions again to that image. Isn't that cool? Now, if that isn't cool enough, what we can also do is say you have a client that wants to turn 500 color photos into black and white images and he's allowed you to go ahead and put your logo stamp on those as well. Well, you can actually bring in a batch folder, push one button, and it'll do that to all those images while you go out to lunch. How cool is that? Let me show you how it's done. Right over here in the Actions dialog box, right next to the Histories tab, you'll see this little button looks like a page peeling back. Go ahead and click that right next to the garbage can. When you do click it, you will see this Actions tab, New Actions tab folder come up. In it, you want to name our new actions. Now, the process that we're going to do today on a series of photos is a logo stamp and sharpening. Now, the, the kinds of things that you want to use this feature for, the kinds of things that you could do to multiple images and you don't really have to babysit each image to do it, like you would if you were color balancing, for example, you want to pay more attention to that process on each individual image. So that wouldn't really work real well for this process, unless there's a way to color enhance pictures on a bulk level that I'm not aware of, then that just wouldn't work well for this, in my opinion. But I'm sure there's probably ways to get around it that I'm not aware of, but because this program is awfully powerful that way. Nonetheless, let's continue on with what we're doing here. Once you have it named, we're going to make sure it goes into the production folder here so we can batch process our images. So that's important. And when we're done with the name, you just simply push record. Now notice this little red light went on and there's our folder right there. Logo stamp right underneath that. There, there it is. Okay. Now it's certainly not recording everything that I do here, every mouse move I make, and it's not a time sensitive thing at all. It doesn't work like this video imaging recorder that I'm using to make the tutorial at all. It works a little differently. It's just simply going to, over here right under this arrow tab, log everything that I do to this image. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and do the sharpening effect first. So we're gonna come over and grab the filter dialog and we're going to grab you know, where to go oh sharpen there it is and the unsharp mask i have my basic uh, default settings that i like to use are ready to go we've already talked about this in another tutorial so you should be pretty well versed in that and just click ok now just give it a couple seconds here my computer's not the fastest in the world and there it is it popped right underneath there so we already know it recorded that isn't that cool now, this logo stamp feature is a little hairy. I have my logo on a brush preset, and, I, and I've gone into the brush preset before and just tapped it with a brush to stamp my logo on there, but it recorded me going up and getting the brush preset, but it didn't actually record the stamp of the brush on there for whatever reason. People a lot smarter than I can figure that out. I just found something else that did work. So on a set before I turned everything on here and started recording, I had a blank layer and just stamped my name on that blank layer where I wanted it and then I dra dragged a marquee around the blank layer with my name in there in white and I cut it and put it into the clipboard. Now I'm just going to simply control V and it's going to paste, there it is, it pasted my name, see, and it also recorded that paste, recorded it right there. So I know now it's in there. So the next thing I'm going to do now is go over and hit File save as and I want to save this in the folder that I 
have set aside for us. I'm going to go into my documents, my pictures, and I'm going to find my list here because I know I can find it quicker that way. Logo stamped action. This is a folder that I created for this. And I'm going to just go ahead and name them as or call them up as JPEGs. And I'm going to write SAMPLE1. So we'll go ahead and hit save. And let's see if it records the save under the word paste there. So it doesn't just stack up all your pictures on your desktop and then you have to worry about saving them all. That's not much of a time saver if you're doing 500 of these. You might have to close them all, but at least you don't have to go through and save them all if it does this on its own like it's supposed to. Should be pretty straightforward. And I'm going to hit OK. Still waiting for it to say paste. Or I mean save. And it did. See there, it went save. Now I'm done. I'm I'm ready to go. I got my images already sharp, my image all sharp, and I got my name plastered on there. So when you're done doing everything that you want to do in your actions new folder here, click this little stop button. And just say stop. That's all there is to it. How easy is that? Now we can close this and get it out of here. You want to save it? No, we don't. <clears throat> we want to go up to the batch processing and click the batch. Just click it, it'll come right up. There it is. There's the batch folder. Now, we want to go to production and we want to come down and find logo stamp. And there we are. Now we want to go over to our folder. So we're going to find that. Documents. Scroll down till we find that folder. Oh, we got to go into my pictures. <laughs> yeah, I like to hide things. Oh, well. There it is. We got it. We're just going to click OK. And it goes right in there. Now we have some interesting things to do. We're going to call up a destination. So we're going to go to a folder. And we want to override the save action command too, so we're going to click that. When this option is on, files will be saved to the destination folder only by save as steps in the actions. <clears throat> so I already clicked the save as. If there is no save or save as step, the files will not be saved. So you have to make sure you've told it in the actions before that you want it saved so it can go into that folder. So you got 500 images to do. You don't want to sit here and save them all. That would be a pain in the butt. So this is going to save you a lot of time. So when you're done, just click OK. Oh, it wants me to choose my destination folder. My documents. my pictures logo stamp action okay now let's just hit okay it's a thinking and there's our first image now I'm uh, running a dual monitor setup you can't see my other monitor but I have that folder open over here and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and watch the images plop in there uh, as they come and uh, I wish I could show you <laughs> they're doing it they're just popping in there right now they're nice and sharp with the sharp mask and they're all stamped and and looking good so this is pretty awesome um, I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to take it might take a couple minutes but the beauty is is that if you're in a production mode you don't have to sit here and do your do it yourself. Your time is money. You can be going to another computer right now and doing other things. Um, or just, like I said, go go eat something. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Jason Niemeyer. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. I'd be glad to show you how it's done. Take care. We'll see you again some other time.